So, Russia against Egypt just finished and it's still somewhat bright outside so I thought I'd go outside um, to talk a little bit about that game. Um, yeah, With that win, win, Russia more or less qualified for a second round. It's not quite through yet but with such a superior goal differential of 8 to 1 it's hard to see them not going through at this moment. Uh, really some miracles need to happen. Uh, there could be potentially a points level situation with Saudi Arabia and Uruguay but then the points uh, the goal differential is just superior. Um, I thought the first half was kind of um, somewhat even affair maybe slight advantage Russia so um, it went into halftime in I don't want to say it was a nervy game but both teams were not really um, trying to be too offensive um, then Russia got lucky uh, with the own goal and own goals are a theme at this World Cup. It was already the fifth own goal. Um, I learned today that the second goal by France was also an own goal. Uh, and second own goal today as well. So uh, there is something happening. I think it has to do that defenders are more willing to jump into a ball and in the hope it deflects yeah, and sometimes deflects into the goal as it happened here uh, was kind of poor defending on all accounts um, Egypt came up I think they had one ball that was going all through the area no one got it um, and then Russia scored a really nicely played well executed goal to make it 2-0 um, who was the Cherishev made that goal uh, after a nice assist by uh, Fernandez. Um, very Russian name, I gotta say. And then the big guy Zuba makes a goal that's a typical striker's goal. This guy is just uh, <laughs> in a way amazing. I mean, he doesn't look like a soccer player, he looks more like a basketball player to me. He's just tall and huge, but he actually showed a little bit of skill of making that goal. Again, the Egyptian defense was in disarray. And then what we saw was afterwards Egypt didn't throw in the towel. They tried, they got a penalty via video review. And this was probably the best scored penalty at the tournament so far. I think every penalty should be scored like this. If Messi scores it that way, the Icelandic goalkeeper has no chance of saving it or it needs a miracle to save it. I know it was not a high pressure situation, so that goes in favor of Salah in this case, but this was a wonderful wonderfully executed penalty. So Russia took control. Yes, we saw they have some weaknesses in defense, but I think it's not unthinkable that they hold out a draw against Uruguay and make it first place. And um, I don't think anyone will want to play Russia, especially they've been ruthless in front of goal. They did not have many chances, but they made lots of goals. I mean, eight goals. <laughs> Uh, I almost cannot believe it. I saw the Russia team in the preparation game against Austria and it was a no-show. Yes, they had a hard training camp, but excuse me, that was not that, 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 that was nothing. This looked much better and I think Russia makes everything out of a very nice draw for them. Now, conspiracy theories aside, I think it's good for the World Cup that Russia is performing well. Um, the, mood in the country greatly always affects the um, World Cup. So uh, in that sense, I'm happy for Russia. Uh, I'm not so happy for Africa, although Senegal at least got the win. And yeah, uh, last thing we can talk about is the Jersey matchup. It looked more like Russia or Soviet Union against Germany, uh, color-wise. Uh, the Egypt jersey, I wish there was a little bit more red in there. Do the Milan treatment here on the shoulders. Give it some red, black, red, something like that to have at least a little bit red or make red numbers. Uh, nice touch that I didn't see was the Egypt in Arabic on the back of the collar. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, but yeah, overall that shows is not much to talk about. It's solid. Uh, and I still wish that Egypt had a better crest. They would do a little bit more with the Faro image. Well, let me know what you thought about that game about Russia, Egypt and their jerseys, how the game evolved, how Russia will go. I will try to give you soon a uh, first impressions overlook about the World Cup. Probably I sleep over it 
to get something together now that we saw every team at least once and I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.